Well, the Prime Minister of Israel with a warning to the United States in front of our own Secretary of State, Benjamin Netanyahu's comments coming during a joint press event today with Secretary of State Anthony Blinken following the recent ceasefire between Israel and Hamas, which fortunately is still holding at this hour. Blinken, who arrived in Israel today to, uh, to speak with Israeli and Palestinian leaders, has maintained the U.S. still plans to re-enter the very controversial and, frankly, very stupid Obama-era Iran nuclear deal. And for more on this, let's bring in Morton Klein, the national president of the Zionist Organization of America, along with human rights attorney Gerard Felitti, who is also, uh, also the senior counsel for the Lawfare Project, uh, also the author of Frozen Tide as well. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on. Morton, I'm going to start with you. Uh, uh, Israel, of course, one of our best allies in the world, warning us to stay away from a deal like this with Iran because we know what Iran does. Iran takes their money and spreads it around in the Middle East, funding terrorism, like with Hamas. How does Biden ignore a warning like that? It is frightening. He's endangering the Middle East. He's endangering America. They're enriching uh, uranium and their centrifuges at levels beyond what they're permitted. They won't allow us to look in their military facilities where experts say is where they're really doing the nuclear work. They're developing intercontinental missiles, which will reach the United States. And, and, and Biden is now ignoring the sanctions. He hasn't gotten rid of them, but he ignores them. So now uh, Iran is making billions of dollars, which they use to fund Hamas and Hezbollah and terrorist groups all over this world. This is an extraordinary danger. And if he goes on with this deal, Obama himself said in 13 years, they, all bets are off and they can do whatever they want, which means that a few more years from now, they'll be able to get nuclear weapons. Obama said, don't worry, that they'll change their uh, attitude so things will be all right. This is very dangerous and even stupid for Biden to do this, endangering America, endangering Israel. It's such a lack of common sense on the issue. It's, it's just appalling. Uh, Gerard Blinken also met with the Palestinian leader, Mahmoud Abbas, uh, promised the U.S. will give an additional $75 million, uh, to the Palestinians and the reconstruction of Gaza. Here's a little more of what he had to say in that meeting. The aspirations of uh, the Palestinian people are like those uh, of, of people uh, everywhere, uh, to live in freedom, uh, to have their basic rights respected. Uh, including the right to choose their own leaders, to live in security. Administration plans to give the Palestinian people $360 million, sir. They claim Hamas won't benefit. How on earth can you know that? You can't, and that's the problem. What, what, by, what the Biden administration is doing is it's proclaiming its new foreign policy, which is one of appeasement. It's suggesting some sort of a moral and legal equivalence between uh, Israel and the Palestinian people that simply does not exist. Uh, what this is, it's rewarding terrorist attacks against the civilian population of Israel, which is a war crime. It's rewarding that with diplomatic presence and money. Uh, to say that this money will not be used for humanitarian purposes uh, that, that's impossible to say. We all know exactly what it's going to be used for, and that's to fund more terror attacks. That's what it always is used for. Money is fungible. It, 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 and every dollar that the Palestinian Authority or that Hamas does not have to spend feeding its people, which is what it doesn't do, it can spend buying more weapons from Iran and developing new ways to attack Israel and civilians around the world. Mm. This is just mm. basically perpetuating a crisis, not solving it. They're violating the Taylor Force Act, which says... We are not permitted to give money to the Palestinian Authority until they stop paying Arabs to murder Jews. Every Arab who kills a Jew gets a lifetime pension. Our law now says you can't give money until they get rid of that law. They have not. President Biden is violating that United States law. We have to stop this. I, I can't. I mean, I can't. You, you, when you put it like that, it's just unbelievable to hear. I mean, this is such a ridiculous situation. Uh, and, and they keep moving forward with things like this, knowing this. I can't wrap my head around how they think about this. Morton, I want to stay with you for a second. I want to talk more about the reopening of the consulate general in Jerusalem. Um, this is an office that serves as an autonomous office in charge of diplomatic relations with the Palestinians, right? Uh, Trump downgraded this operation, placed them under the authority of his ambassador to Israel when he moved the embassy to Jerusalem. So this is a complicated little situation here. Uh, quickly summarize this for us. What's going on with this? <laughs> they're appeasing the Arabs in every way they can. This yeah. is emboldening the Arabs, thinking they're going to get everything. By giving them $360 million, uh, by opening up the PLO office in Washington, by opening up the consulate in eastern Jerusalem, yeah. by appointing the most anti-Israel people ever to important posts, are sending a message to the Palestinian Authority, 
we're going to do, get everything we want. We don't have to really Got make it. peace. We don't have to. And and uh, the, he's he's just emboldening the situation, increasing the likelihood of more terrorism and more war. The, Absolutely. He's making yeah. one mistake after another. It seems pretty clear. And we're going to follow this story. The, 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 the peace accord of whatever it is, ceasefire is uh, holding for now. We'll see how long it lasts. Morton and Gerard, gentlemen, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. Good to talk to you both.